Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Jujana. Uh, I did a little reading about this game. Pardon me? Apparently the CDC recommends I sign my lease. Um, I didn't like to fuck when I was pregnant. I was horny but I didn't want to fuck. Part of me felt angry and greedy over it and rationalized that I didn't want to fuck because I wanted baby all to myself. What a thing to start back on, guys. Uh, I read about this, um, apparently the garment that Dujana, our main character here, is wearing is a hijab. I have seen another article call it a niqab though, so. It's up there with food now. I can't think about anything until I have her in my blood. Then as soon as the hit sinks in the heavy chest and the tingles, I regret and acknowledge the sickness. The girl punk scene is really growing here. What did you expect? Okay, we talked to that guy. The arcade is to the left. Every community has their secrets. In this community, we turn into spires. Okay. My maid for a month adopted the meditational practice of visualizing her, his loved ones as skeletons and putrefying corpses. It really let him live in the moment and set an understanding of our flickering transience. A year on, he still can't find himself to f bring himself to fucking his wife. Cities of the Doomed. Pooper loves it all. Caves of Al Dajal. Pi or Anus. Harmadillo. Turbo Track Ultra Race. Alright, I'm gonna cut here if this isn't suitable for. Pi or Anus. Pi. Okay. Okay. I not even close, sir. All right, there's a basil leaf in there. Look. Why risk it? Harmadillo. Four notes remaining. Four notes are remaining, guys. Harmadillo, evil is spreading through this land, and only you can stop it. You must defeat the Wobble Clown who lives on the sixth floor of the blue and orange tower. To get past each floor, activate four nodes and then find the exit. Okay. So, apparently this guy actually did another uh, game that I believe is called B-Swing. Okay, cool. And that game is apparently like very Scottish. And like, I don't know if you could hear in his accent, but that guy's uh, apparently a little Scottish. I think his name is Jack King hyphen Spooner. Uh, and so like, I think it's reasonable to say that he can make a game about Scottish people. Uh, and then this game is about like, Uh, 
I think it's about Muslim women. I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff here that could perhaps obfuscate the plot. You know? Find the exit. I wish they would say Harmadillo more. Yeah, guys, this one's weird. I'm gonna put this in my weird RPGs. I don't think it actually has any RPG combat, but I'm gonna put it in there just because... Yeah, there's some articles that I think I should read about this game. Because, like, I don't know if this game is, like... Here's my worry, right? Four minutes remaining. Like, at first, I thought the game was going to get weirdly anti, like... Just, I thought it was going to get weird and anti-Muslim. Or anti-Islamic. And now, like, I see that it is probably trying to do something, like, deeper than that. I mean, I say that, but I'm playing as an armadillo shooting a cannon at a uh, clayman. Uh, but it may be trying to do something deeper than that. One thing is that I'm not sure if I'm qualified to talk about this game, you know? The fact that there was an anti-oil mech so soon, like... That really should have tipped me off, you know? The little, like, circus tune it plays. Aw, oh, man. He was dying, though. What? Oh, I died. Well, let's see if we can clear that out. Oh, you can die. You can you can hurt yourself on the corpse. That's really. I feel like that's bad. Oh, three nodes are remaining. But yeah, apparently this game's supposed to be about grieving. Also, maybe it's supposed to be about identity. Oh shit, we got diagonals. But yeah, I, I'll be honest, Mr. Jack King hyphen Spooner. Oh fuck, is that his name or did I already forget it? Uh, I don't know if I trust, uh, I don't know if I trust just a, like, open admittance of a game's theme like that. I feel like I not only shouldn't trust that, but I wouldn't even if like somebody that I knew was doing it. Actually, I feel like I would trust it even less if somebody I knew was doing that. Like if I saw Yoko Taro be like, this game is about 9-11. Uh, I would be like, I don't know if I trust that, Mr. Yoko Taro. Find the exit. Go, Harmadillo. Four nodes remaining, guys. The intro of this game looked better, like the first level where you're just looking at the things. The intro of Harmadillo, I mean. Three 
But yeah, obviously I have no ill will to people who follow any specific religion. Except for Catholics. But that's personal. I don't have a generic hatred for Catholics. I also don't harbor any hatreds towards any specific country except for France. But if you know anything about France, you know why they deserve it. <laughs> Oh, and Britain. Britain sucks. I said it, Robert. Your parents with British accents, get them out of here. Your grandparents. Uh, but I feel like those are pretty legitimate grievances. Oh, I guess I have problems with America, but I live here. That's more of a patriotic thing of like, Fuck this stupid country. It should be better. You know? If I have to be the one to kick some ass and make it better, then so be it. Damn it. This feels like padding. Four minutes remaining. To be honest with you. I'll be honest, I don't think not being racist is really enough anymore. I feel like too many people rely on people who are just not racist. Cause like, I don't care what you are, I respect you. Well, what if that person's a racist, Tim? And I feel like, you know, to be a good person, you should be actively anti-racist. So let me be the first to say people with prejudices fuck off. Is this a weird time to talk about this? I guess this is the game to talk about it, right? Like This game's gonna be about this, I guess. This is weird, man. <laughs> Sorry, I get this game might may be supposed to be serious, but the armadillo does say fuck when he is damaged. I'm not made of stone. I get a chuckle out when I hear a cartoon character say fuck. Occasionally. You can wear out your welcome. Happy tree friends. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I strive to be like... Anti-prejudice. And like, if people actually hated France for like, illegitimate reasons, I would be like, hey man, that's not cool. But like... France has legitimate... France, America, Britain, and other countries, but those are the ones that I have chosen to ally myself against. Uh, like, those are just countries with their own problems, and that is strictly what I, like, rage against. I don't actually hate people just because they're French. The urge to be like, but British people, though, <laughs> it's kill on sight. No. I could probably befriend, like, a British person. And, like, if this game ends up, like, weird and pro-imperialist or even, like, weirdly anti-imperialist, because you can, you can have a good message and then botch how you do it and make the whole thing weird. 
but like if this game blows it then like I don't know maybe I won't even upload this I mean maybe it does something bad to the legitimacy of your game when you have a, a mini game in it called pie or anus and you have to decide if something is a pie or a picture of someone's ass Four notes remaining. Like, maybe it doesn't destroy legitimacy. But I feel like Bathos is something that is typically carried out in a short amount of time, you know? Three notes remaining. Like, I've spent minutes playing this game. How long have I been playing this game for? I feel like the novelty of like, oh, I'm playing a mini game is like wearing off. Remember that this game is supposed to be about a woman whose husband and daughter were like captured or something. She doesn't know where they are and like she's playing like arcade games here. Damn it. I is is it going to be worth it? Is it going to be worth it to defeat the the guy at the end here? I say no. Well, let's try out some more. Turbo Track Ultra Race. Wow. Are you looking up your husband and daughter again? You missed them since they left for the Turbo... <clears throat> you missed them since you they left for the Turbo Track Ultra Race. It's The tryouts are happening in your area soon. Can't be lying about every day. Gotta get over this hump. A new day away. This is more interactive than the main game is. Fuss bucket. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Where on earth is it? I didn't see you there. You haven't been uh, seen a rune cleaver any place. My mom will kill me. I knew something was fishy. That blasted gloat fish has run off with my Ren Minbi. I'll generously reward anyone who gets them back for me, grr. Flumpkin, thank goodness the Meadowhawk is gone. Can you fetch me a Meadowhawk egg from the vacated Meadowhawk net? What the fuck? I want to race. That's why I clicked on this game. Glubby, I'm worried about Glibby. She went to the crawler caves, but hasn't come back yet. I do hope she's okay. Sulfuric Bambi, if you blow sharply on a baby's face, he or she will if swallow involuntarily. Doomsayer, wanna learn a potion bring me five crawler husks and some moon water can extend your life but cannot protect you from harm when I enter the race I hear your husband and daughter joined a few months ago and are acing the competition think you've got it, what it takes to win them back sign me up pig the race is open for you good luck Oh, we got mode seven, baby. This one isn't that good. <laughs> I 
a little reminiscent of Hylix 2 in that it keeps the gameplay roulette coming, and it has a, uh, a clay art style. But I don't know that Hylix is about anything. Uh, so this, I think this episode might come out in the midst of the Lunar New Year. Uh, where this game is on sale, but I got it a little before that. Uh, but this game, I think, relatively regularly goes on sale. Well, I noticed that there were no other racers. Hot shot. You passed the first rally. Six more to go. You're in the desert no more. Gots to be quick as a whisker to get past the next stage. Are you ready to race? Then what are we waiting for? Am I quick as a whisker? Am I doing it? Oh, Jesus. I made a choice. This is unusual, right? We're now getting back into more like this is the this is the first mention of them we've had in like what feels like an hour of the husband and and daughter. Yeah, I really hope that this... Look, once I saw... So once I was like, wait, is that a... Is that supposed to be a hijab? I was... I got a little worried. I'll be totally honest. Because I don't want this game to be weird and appropriate-y. I don't want it to... You made it two down, five to go. We're on the circus that your hubby and kid are just up ahead. You ready to race? And what are we waiting for? This one appears to be straight. Oh, I can see some turns up there. But yeah, uh, I think you often also get the uh, soundtrack for buying this game. And it's regularly on sale if you want to buy it yourself. It's also on Itch.io. Um, Again, I don't know if there's a reason to buy it off Itch.io as opposed to a different site, but I imagine being indie, they probably kick back more funds to the original developer. On the other hand, Steam, you know, needs less money for the upkeep, so they, you know, Steam needs less money for the upkeep, so they might be able to kick back more funds to the developer, but come on. When have you never been able to say, oh, this corporation's even bigger. We can probably trust them more. Oh, I totally missed that one. I love how it's like a beat up old jalopy that we're racing here. But it's totally possible to have a good message and then just botch it because you can't handle the message, you know? Show them. Ate your dust. The real race starts here. I'm trying to think of a good example. I mean, Attack on Titan was blowing it pretty recently. I still should go back and finish that podcast that I started about Attack on Titan. I feel so bad about that. The wounds from the last chapter were still very fresh then. That's why I started it. These coins don't appear to do anything, but I guess that's the point. See, 
the thing about video games is that you can do something in it that are that is totally unlike any other form of storytelling because of the interactivity, you know? Hot dang, you're on fire. I wish my daughters were more like you. They just lie about smoking sheep hash. Ain't nothing cool about a tenor bit of soap bar. What? I feel like the fact that half the screen is obfuscated makes this harder than it needs to be. But yeah, like in an art game, you can do stuff that like you can't do in a movie. Like, there, I forget what the name of the game is, but there's this game where, like, as you're playing it, you, like, get slower and and weaker and run less fast because uh, your, like, character is getting older and dying. And the thing is, like, that's a game that is objectively bad to play. Like, you actively get worse as you play it. They are close to your daughter and husband. They just beat the fifth track told me to tell you to give up. What are we waiting for? Is this... Haven't we done this track before? I stopped counting. I feel like I should be on the fifth one now. I see that they've uh, put those coins in a place inaccessible to me. This is weird. This song, I mean, I know that saying this is weird to the game that we've seen is a little bit redundant. This is just a spiral. Last race. Oh, nothing. That siren's been going off all day. I wish you luck. My heart is yours. Ah, oh, this one looks awful. Magenta and yellow? Whenever Valve, uh, the gaming company Valve, I know that they don't make games anymore, but whenever that company used to make games and there would be like a missing or broken texture, it would be this like checkerboard black and purple. Kind of like this, you know? And so this literally looks like a, a like missing number style, like lost level. Like this is supposed to be world one minus one. Or minus one. Forget the first one. This is... This is unusual, guys. Like... This is a little bit what I was afraid of. Like... Because it's possible that somebody who is not Muslim can tell a story about Muslim people to a non-Muslim audience, you know? You find an arcade token. An arcade token. Arcade token. Well, that was rather unsatisfying. But yes, I worry that, like, somebody who is, like, not a Muslim person making a game about Muslim people... I, I worry about that. That could be weird, you know? That could very, very easily get weird. Uh, so I just don't know about that, you know? But I 
I worry that because of stuff like this in it, that it's going to end up weird. Like the message might end up shooting itself in the foot. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been another episode of Dujana. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming. Bye. <laughs>